Oh, good morning. Oh, and good morning to you too. Magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Boy, do we have an exciting episode for you today, and it has to do with swimming pools. So whether you own a swimming pool, are thinking about building a swimming pool in your backyard, or whether you're just interested in knowing what do I need to do to make it as simple as possible to maintain the water health quality of my swimming pool, I think today's episode is going to be for you. So let's go ahead and get today's episode started. Now without further delay, let's get today's video underway. <laughs> If you remember but we did a four-part product review series on a product called Finn. It is another pool monitoring system and it's owned by the Hayward company. Unfortunately uh, that product is now obsolete. It's not supported anymore and the Hayward company has pulled it from the market. It was a great concept. It was a great it was a great tool that we had for monitoring the water condition of the swimming pool but it had one big drawback and that one big drawback had to do with its battery it had an internal battery inside uh, that was non-replaceable although part of that four-part series was how we were able to actually go inside and do a modification and be able to change the battery but since Hayward no longer provides support their servers are down. You cannot use the application that you have for doing the monitoring. It is not a player anymore in the swimming pool monitoring uh, category. So while I was just recently back in the US, I contacted a company that has a very similar product to the Fin, and it is from a company called IO Pool. And I reached out to them and they provided me some information and I was able to get a product the IO pool monitoring system. So let's talk a little bit about that. Now when I reached out to the fine folks at IO pool, they sent me a starter kit. Uh, the, they sent me the Echo, the ECO Echo, and this is a water sensor probe. They sent me a, a gateway that, similar to the fin, and this enables you to be able to connect over your Wi-Fi to your local system so that you can see from your uh, smart devices like a smartphone, tablet. Uh, they sent me a IO pool start guide, a little measuring cup. I suspect this is for the chemicals that need to go inside. And I believe we're inside the box right here uh, with, the, with the probe right here. It also has some test strips. Now if you want a simple way to monitor the water condition of your swimming pool, this is the type of a product that you want for your swimming pool. Well, let's go ahead and break open the box and talk a little bit more in detail about how the system works. All right, let's go ahead and look at all the components that came again. And we'll start with the BLE IoT gateway. And remember, this is what's gonna enable us to be able to push the information from the sensor over here, from the sensor to the cloud, to be able to give us access on our application that's gonna be on our smart device, like our smartphone or our tablet. Uh, we have the IO pool start guide right here. We have a measuring cup right here. It's a one third measuring cup. And we have the echo sensor itself. And I believe this is the most important, the most important part of this entire system. So let's go ahead and take the sensor out of the box. Uh, and what the sensor actually does, you'll drop this inside the pool. And this is the echo monitor. When you put it inside the pool, it analyzes your water every 15 minutes. And what it does, it checks your pH, the water temperature, and the disinfection capacity uh, of your swimming pool based on the internal sensors inside here. And as I stated earlier, it comes with some test strips. And this test strip probably have something to do with some of the calibration. We'll see once we read the start guide and to get this thing all set up. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the stuff set up. Now setup was quite easy, although they only have seven steps here. There was one or two steps here that were a little bit confusing and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, basically, you download the app. I downloaded the app over here. 
uh, to your smartphone, create your account. I created an account. I configured the pool according to the application. When they talk about configuring your pool, there will be steps inside here where you define what is the size of your pool, what is the shape of your pool, uh, the, the pump, what is the gallons per minute, uh, the flow rate, and I believe they do it in uh, cubic, cubic uh, meters. Uh, it's M3, that's what they use inside this. So you might have to do a little bit of conversion so it can actually do some of the calculations for the amount of uh, chemicals that you'll need to do later on. Uh, so I did all of that. Then it says, this is the confusing part. It said scan this code right here. But when I scanned this code, it sent me to a bunch of YouTube pages that had something to do with a car, ECHO, ECO system in cars. And I couldn't find anything that had to do with this system right here. So IOPool probably needs to work on that just a little bit, but it wasn't a, a showstopper. Uh, so then it said connect your echo float, which was very easy. Inside here, when you go to devices, let me see if I can find out where the devices are. So the device is right here, and you just click on either one of these. Uh, you would add your echo uh, monitoring device itself and the gateway. Now the gateway, let me show you, this is a temporary place for it right now. It's just this device right here. It's just a connection for your Wi-Fi. It has a Bluetooth and it also has regular Wi-Fi. And we're going over the Wi-Fi. This is connected to our Wi-Fi inside our house. Uh, it comes with a little adapter and the adapter is both 110, 220 uh, capable. So it's multi-voltage, multi-sensing. So it was no issue right there. Now I'm not going to leave this device right here. And it's very easy. It sensed it right away. It picked it up right away. As did the, 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 the pool sensor as well. Uh, both of them uh, picked up so you can see it has both of these on there then next thing you do you go and it tells you through the steps uh, you will go inside there and and you will remove some of the things on the bottom of the of the sensor device uh, you pull a plug out you reconnect it you put the plug back in and then you put it inside your swimming pool and here it is sitting inside the pool right now and I'm just waiting for its first measurement. I think it says it measures every 15 minutes or something like that. So I'm waiting for this to provide feedback to our application here. So that'll be the, the next thing that we're waiting on. We'll take a look and see what it says. Now, while I'm waiting for the analysis to happen, I noticed this message came up. It said manual water analysis. Uh, before you can consult your your echo analysis is you must perform a test strip. This allows the IO pool to determine the calco carbonic balance of your water. Hmm. So I'm going to just click on the right arrow over here and see what we need to do. It's probably those test strips that we have over there, right here, probably has something to do with these. Right, well, I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. It's a simple test, to met the old manual method that I've done before here. Uh, so we'll do this and I'll just follow all the instructions and see where that leads me. So basically what the instructions say is we're going to take our test strip, we're going to put it down in the water about 15 centimeters below the top level of the water for two seconds. We're going to take it out and slightly get the water off of it. And then we're going to compare it to this chart that comes with the test kit. And then what we're going to do, we're going to report the information on the next screen here to the the iPool uh, application. Alright, take our test strip. One, two. Shake it off a little bit. Bring it back to our comparison chart. wonder if it goes that way. <laughs> this is what it doesn't tell you. What is the top and what is the bottom? Uh, I think that looks like it makes more sense right there. Uh, another thing, IO pool. You should probably identify which direction this goes. This makes more sense. Okay, so we're going to go back to the application here. And we're going to go to the next step. And it says, let's see, okay. Test strip, all right. And then I guess we click each one of these. So let me go ahead and compare these. Click each one of those. And it submit. also allows you to do a picture upload a picture so I'm going to do that also uh, also uh, on top of my little calculation what I think it looks like all right well they say they successfully received the photo and you can return back to the app so let's go back to the app well it has some more information this time than it did before so it shows what our pH level is 
it shows uh, the water temperature and I went ahead and did it in centigrade uh, you could do it you have a place inside here we can use Fahrenheit you can use Imperial or metric systems I'm sort of used to all the metric system now over here in the Philippines and the other places that I've lived around the world so uh, I'm going to stick with the uh, the metric system uh, and it also says so I'm going to imagine I have to look but since this is green this is amber and this is red I'm going to say we are probably either very low or very high <laughs> and I'm going to have to look this up I wonder if it'll let me click oh yeah so it's telling me I'm really low on my chlorine so I need to increase the chlorine inside there and uh, let's go back to the pH it shows I'm doing really good with the pH and of course the water temperature is not really much I can do about the water temperature and it will probably always be around this temperature a little bit warmer during this time of year here in the Philippines okay cool as a historical uh, chart down here for weekly monthly quarterly oh, yeah good well it looks like everything it looks like everything is working now so I'm not going to actually add the chlorine right now because it's the middle of the day and this is the worst time to add chlorine to your swimming pool so this evening what I'll do is I'll do the recommended dosage whatever they say here and we'll increase we'll we'll uh, increase the the coin for disinfecting in there and let it run overnight because overnight is always the best time for your chlorine to work but it also uh, works alongside your pH and as long as your pH is good your chlorine should work really well okay so we're good everything looks fine here all right so what I did I went ahead and went against what I normally do on it for adding the chlorine. I went ahead and added chlorine in the middle of the day because what I want to do, I want to see if it changes the value on there. Right now, the last time we looked, it said 499 MV and the way it measures chlorine inside your swimming pool is by a measurement of millivolts. MV stands for millivolts. Uh, so what we're looking, it was at 499. We want to see if it increases and on the next, the next 15 minute or the next 30 minute when it does its calculation. Now something else I didn't mention is your gateway. Your gateway has to be within 33 feet of your sensor. Uh, like I said, right now we just got it sitting here on the bar, but we have a place right next to the swimming pool. We have an enclosure that was used for the fin that has electrical power inside it uh, where we had the, uh, the, the bridge that we had over there at the time. So we won't have any problem uh, installing this where it's very close to the sensor. Right now, since we added the two cups we've allowed it to go about 15 minutes and what you can see now the disinfection number has gone from 499 which was out of tolerance to 692 mv uh, so we are now you can see everything we have here is in green and if we go into details on that you can actually see the value on the scale where you are whether you're high or low and we are in the green which looks good so now that our ph is good our chlorine is good and the water temperature again it's on the high end but we don't have any control over that and basically that says the perfect temperature is that area right there all right so we have validated that this is responding to the changes inside the water it's connected to the cloud we're able to report back here so we'll do a final assessment on the system that we just installed well, it's time for my closing thoughts on this product the io pool echo is this a good product when we talk about some things that we didn't talk about earlier on when we were doing a product description there are other capabilities that this product does it actually will do recommendations inside it'll do recommendations of uh, what chemicals and the amount of chemicals that you need to treat your swimming pool to bring it into a healthy condition now what makes the system unique compared to some of the other systems on the market that do monitoring and give you feedback analysis with details about how much chemicals that you need the amount that you need and the type of chemicals that you need to keep your swimming pool healthy this is a non-subscription bait system so it doesn't cost anything that's a big plus that's a good thing for this system right here also it gives you a, an opportunity if you want to purchase through the the iopool.com webpage on the application 
the types of chemicals that you'll need, you can actually select and order directly through that company as well. Now this product, just like other water monitoring systems on the market today, still lacks one valuable feature, and that feature is the rechargeable battery or the, the ability to replace the battery itself. Now you really have two options when it comes to testing your swimming pool, and that's the old-fashioned manual way, using the test strips or using the little container where you put the drops inside some of the sample water from your swimming pool, or you can go with an automated system just like this right here. Now, for the price of the replacement of the unit, possibly every two years, when you break that down, that comes down to somewhere between eight and ten dollars a month. You're paying for the convenience of having the automated system, and it's probably a little bit more accurate than what you would have with some of those very simple manual testing devices that you have. So, for me, this is the option that I want to go to. I'm really big on convenience. Well, that's about it. I, I'm going to rate this product two thumbs up. But we'll do we'll do a a product review, maybe 30, 60, 90 days, or maybe six months. We'll do a up an update on how the system is performing later on. If you are interested in the system, the marketing people from IOPool sent me a special code to relay on to you so that you could get a $25 uh, promo if you decide to buy directly from the IO pool website. And to be able to get that, just type in under the promo, you type in my PI Dream 25 Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode on the IO pool Echo Pool Monitoring System. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share, and if you have not subscribed, just click on that little my PI Dream heart in the bottom right hand side of your screen and if you ring that bell you'll be notified the next time i upload a new video so until such time from right here in the sunny and beautiful philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well